Hey, what is up guys? Saxon Tech here. Here we have another unboxing for you guys today. It is a 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display 2015. I've never owned a MacBook computer in my entire life. I own an iPod and an iPad, but I've never owned a Mac computer. This will be my very first one ever to get my hands on a MacBook computer and my very first unboxing with it. So this is going to be quite the experience for me to be using and I'm glad I got this. So let's get right into the unboxing and let's get right into the information. Alright guys, so here's the box itself. And um, this year 2015 is going to be quite the experience that a lot of new features has been added into the MacBook Pro. We're gonna cut, go over that later on as soon as I get this box open. So, cutting it will be is no problem or issue. But talking about the MacBook Pro, um, a lot of people has been buying it over the years, and people are wondering if this time it could it be worth the money to for you to buy it than any other year that you rather use the one before or the one we use now. But look at that MacBook Pro. It's like really nice and silver. It's really glossy. It's very shiny. I like it already so far. Inside the box you will find a adapter which would be nice to set a cable connection which it also has two handles so you could wrap around the whole cable so it completely organized and inside the box also you have an extension cord to connect it in case you are at further distance against the wall adapter and inside as well you will find a manual book along with a quick start guide, a sticker, and a microfiber with a Apple logo. Resolution is at 2560 by 1600 with 227 pixels per square inch and an LED backlight. Also with a 3.1 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i7 with a turbo boost up to 3.4 gigahertz and a 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM with a flash storage of 512 gigabytes and an Intel Iris graphics of 6100. So on one side of the computer, you will see they have a charging point, two Thunderbolt connections, one 3.0 and one headphone jack with two microphones. And on the other side, you will see the other, other 3.0 USB, one HDMI input and SD card reader. So having this charging point is completely magnetic, which is awesome. So that way you don't have to damage your laptop. And it also comes with a 720 megapixel front facing FaceTime camera with a green LED light. So, so far so good that this laptop it happens to be one of the top shapes out there in this market from Apple. And everybody seems to enjoy themselves when they have their hands on it. So this is kind of great. So the next thing I want to talk about is the trackpad pressure point, which is completely the newest thing that comes out in this year of 2015 it has four vibration points so you can actually feel by the, the sensitivity of the push buttons that you have to do on the trackpad which comes in a very similar way in any other trackpads but the only thing this vibrates very well and it doesn't make such a loud click noise compared to any other laptop trackpad so here we are in the menu settings for the trackpad. You will have to set it up what suits you best or what makes you feel comfortable, whether you want to put a light, medium, or firm on the trackpad. So what suits you very comfortable when you pushing down the pressure. So here's an example of me watching my previous video and I'm going to fast forward and rewind and you will see the speed that it goes up to two, five, 10, 30, up to 60 times the speed of fast forward and rewind depending on the pressure you put down on the trackpad. So now I'm going to let you listen on the built-in speaker on the MacBook Pro. Close-up shot. So let's talk about the specifications. The focal lens is at a 50 millimeter with an aperture maximum f1.4 and minimum f22. Format compatibility is at 35 millimeter. So the built-in speakers are really not that great, but they're okay for a decent size of a laptop, which is pretty not that bad at all compared to any other laptops with their horrible sound of speakers as well. So now we are going to go back into the trackpad and we're going to let you listen what it sounds like when you put pressure. So one of the other best thing about the trackpad is the preview and force click on the words and the link to wherever it is that you're looking for. So if I just press and hold all the way, you will see that it will pop the words of what it means in a dictionary. 
and you could do it also in links to wherever our previews on pages so it's very effective and very nicely and firm for you to check out before you actually even click on the web page itself before a case of anything so the next thing i want to do is benchmarks so why not can do any benchmarks to see what's the power under the hood on this computer just to test it out so the first thing i want to test is the geekbench 3 running at a 64 bit everybody uses this benchmark all the time because this is the most accurate one out there and it's just fast it doesn't take too long and it's just one two three so in the single core i have a 3568 and a multi-core 6747 which is great fantastic for me so the next benchmark i want to run is a nova bench i have never heard of this one before but i decided to give it a shot and see what it's like so so far so good i'm liking this benchmark because it gives me an accuracy level of 818 with everything of the specs that's coming in. So that seems to be pretty high for my standing point. And the next get benchmark I wanna run through is the speed test. Now, please, I'm a little bit embarrassed of this one because my network is not all the way high speed internet service so far because it's supposed to be running at least at a 1400 plus instead of the 600 range on writing. But the reading seems to be going up the chart up to 1200, but that's fine by me. So the last benchmark I want to run through is the Cinebench R15. So far, this benchmark has been one of the best out there. So it could tell you what is a frame per second, which everyone is going for is the 30% of frame per second. And I have a result of 28.05 of frame per second and the 335 CB. So anyway, guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the video. If you enjoyed it, if this is something you would purchase in the year 2015, if there's something that I missed, you can leave it down in the comment section and any questions, I will try to answer them as best as I can. Be the cool guy to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for more contests like this because it does help out the channel a lot. Thank you for watching. I'm Saxon Tech, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.